All right, so for this week, we're gonna read Fall Forward, Spring Back, and we're gonna look at the words to know and then get right into reading it. So for our words to know, we have adjust, confused, daylight savings time, floats, inspection, observed, shaved, thrust, and witnessed. So we're gonna see how these words are used in the story right now. At eight years old, Nola O'Connor had already been late so many times. She figured she'd go on that way forever. She'd be late to her first job, her college graduation, her wedding. It didn't seem to matter much. If the groom liked her enough, he'd wait. The summer after Nola finished second grade, her family moved from Arizona to Colorado. The move brought new friends, a new school, and a new home. But one thing did not change. Nola was still late for everything. The first Friday in November, Nola's teachers sent the class home with a reminder that daylight savings time ended that week. Before you go to bed Saturday night, remember to adjust your clocks an hour. He said, spring forward, fall back. And if you like parades, don't forget the fall festival on Sunday. Nola had never witnessed the parade, her friends said the Fall Festival Parade had awe-inspiring floats, animals, live music, and dancers on stilts. She really wanted to see it. I wonder if she's going to be late. That night at dinner, Nola asked her mom if they could go to the parade. I won't be here, mom reminded her, but I'll bet Pablo would take you. Pablo was Nola's big brother, 16 and always sleepy. He would be in charge while their mom was away. Can you take me to the parade, Nola asked Pablo. There will be floats. Root beer floats, Pablo asked. Nola laughed and so did Mom. The parade's at 10 o'clock, Nola said. We have to change our clocks so we don't miss it. That's right, Mom said. You never had to change your clocks before. Unlike most states, Arizona didn't observe daylight savings time, so Nola had never thought much about it. She thought about it now, though. I don't really get it, she confessed. Are we actually saving daylight or just moving it around? Moving it around, Mom said. In November, people in states that observe daylight savings time set their clocks back an hour. So the sun rises earlier in the morning, or seems to, and sets earlier in the evening. In March, they do just the opposite, and the sun sets later. That's crazy, Pablo yawned. Why save daylight? So this little purple box right here. Many countries use a daylight savings program during their warmer months when the days are longer. Why bother? In order to conserve energy by moving the clock ahead an hour during these months, sunlight lasts longer into the evening. I know they used to do that for farming. That was a really big deal when farmers could only really work during daylight, so they would move it back or move it forward, depending on the solstice and how the sun's looking that day, um, they would start to move and adjust the time for farmers predominantly. Um, but now that farmer farming equipment has lights, it's not super necessary anymore, but it's still nice to be able to actually like get up in the summer and stay outside late and play and everything um, later in the day. So I think that's probably why we still do it most of the time. All right. On Saturday morning, their mom kissed them both goodbye, got in her car, and drove to the airport. That night, as Nola got in bed, she thought back to her teacher's instructions. Spring forward, fall back. Or was it fall forward, spring back? Nola hesitated. Fall forward. Four words sounded better, so she set her clock forward an hour. Just like that, she shaved an hour off the day. Now it was past her bedtime. Late again. Time, Nola sighed, is not my friend. I like her little cat clock. That's really cute. Nola overslept the next morning. When she woke, her clock said 10.15. She rustled her brother out of bed they ran over to Grand Avenue. When they reached it, though, no crowd greeted them. No floats, no marching bands. They were, were they so late they'd missed the parade entirely? 
Nola hung her head in dismay. They turned around and headed home. But back on their street, they spotted something. It was their neighbor, Frank, climbing around next to a gigantic orange something. Could this be a float? They walked over for a closer inspection. It was a float, an eight-foot pumpkin set up on a trailer. Frank turned and saw them standing there. He lit up like a jack-o'-lantern. The early bird gets the worm, he cried. Nola and Pablo looked at each other. Pablo had never really been early for anything in his life, er, either. Climb on up here, Sonny, and give me a hand with this wrench, shouted Frank. You too, Missy. They climbed up beside the oversized pumpkin, and Frank put them to work. For more than an hour, Pablo hammered. Nola glued orange tissue paper in place. They arranged giant fake leaves and vines around the giant fake pumpkin. When they were done, the float looked fantastic. So, Pablo said at last, I guess you're all ready for next year's parade. Frank looked confused. Next year, he cried. When you're my age, Sonny, you don't plan for next year. Put your seatbelts on. We've got a parade to get to. Just then, Nola and Pablo heard the first notes of a marching band. They blinked in confusion. Wait a minute, Nola said. Wasn't the parade at 10 o'clock today? Was at 10? Will be at 10 is more like it. He thrust his wrist, wrist, wrist watch. Ooh wristwatch toward them. Pablo yawned. Your watch says 9.30, he said. Nola laughed for joy. I fell forward, she said. I needed to fall back. Nola had sprung forward an hour when everybody else had fallen back an hour. That means she and Pablo were now two hours ahead of everyone else. For once in their lives, they were early. You woke me up two hours early, Pablo cried. The early bird gets the worm, Nola cried. Frank nodded. You got it now, Missy, he said. Pablo yawned. It was a it was all a big mistake, but turned out to be a great mistake. It's why they rode on the parade on Frank's giant pumpkin float, and why they've ridden with Frank every year since. It's also why, from that day to this, Nola O'Connor has made sure to be early for everything. Two minutes early, though, not two hours. All right, so here's our glossary. So for adjust, it's to change something so it works, looks, or fits better. So we adjust our clocks to fit daylight savings time. Confused, unclear, certain about something. Daylight savings time, a period of the year between spring and fall when clocks are set one hour ahead. Floats, moving vehicles decorated in use for parades. Inspection, the act of checking closely. Observe, to follow a customer rule. Shaved, to take away small amounts of something. Thrust, to quickly push with force. Witness, saw an event such as a crime, accident, or ceremony. All right, so that's it for fall forward, spring back, and check out the video for the discussion cards of what you need to do for that.